Good morning, folks. You've likely noticed the black frame events on the sun shots. The SDO satellite periodically takes it behind the Earth for an hour or so, multiple days in a row every few months. We're in that now, and it's blocking Earth's view. Anyway, top story, as you might have guessed if you follow our Twitter alerts, is the CME analysis. Those filaments I insist on bringing up again and again snapped in an Earth-facing position last night. While some material collapses, there is some that ejects as well. Now, in terms of the analysis, NASA's Enlil spiral shows CME missing south, but that might have been a previous eruption. Updates may be coming today. NOAA, however, shows a definitive CME impact, but they diagnosed the eruption as prevailingly weak, not due to arrive for three more days. I'd love to be able to confirm or deny that timeline, but with the SOHO frames missing, we can't even get a handle on any potential halo of the eruption at this time. Also, that coronal hole swinging in on the equator got a magnetic field interruption from the filament snap. You remember it was a negative polarity opening? Well, due to the eruption, we had wild swings in the coronal magnetic fields, and right now it's struggling to be heard, but bouncing back. Spaceweathernews.com Apart from the filament snaps, it was a calm day, no solar flaring to speak of, and the sunspot situation is nearly blank but for some small spots incoming. The solar wind speed remains high, but as the density falls out, Earth's magnetosphere gets used to the stream, and the magnetic storms from this event are over now. Over at QuakeWatch.net, we see the watch index rising. Coronal hole will bounce back, and the Earth weather factors are rising, so it's about time for the energy to hit the ground. We've got foreshock potential in the Aleutian Islands of Alaska, where 23 moderately forceful rumbles have occurred in the last day. Hopefully we won't get a bigger one. Top article is about the record-breaking Hurricane Fred. While Vince became a hurricane further east years before, it's the only one to develop further east than Fred, and did so outside the tropics. Fred was the most easterly developing hurricane in recorded history. Featured content today is the next Deeper Look episode, which is publicly available, unlike most. Patrick Swayze and I were on K-Wave 6 radio the other day. No, but seriously, it was a deep and unexpected expedition down some interesting rabbit holes. And folks, the next 40 days will be a bit more sparse with the Deeper Looks while I prep four presentations for observing the frontier. We are still on track to break the 100 episode mark this year. We've got the seven low-pressure systems in the Pacific and Atlantic. Also got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.